Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday the 22nd of May 2024. This morning's devotional is a reading from John chapter 11, reading verses 25 and 26, and they read, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? There are a lot of benefits in believing in Jesus and having a relationship with him. But even if God removed all the other benefits, there would still be this. And it's a pretty big deal as well. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you are guaranteed eternal life. Your eternity is sealed because of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. The words that Jesus used here were the words that he spoke outside the tomb of Lazarus. So the story very shortly, and we can find this in John chapter 11, uh, is that Mary and Martha, along with Lazarus, were some of Jesus' friends, and Lazarus fell ill and died. The sisters then sent message to Jesus, who was out of town, and that in itself took a while. Anyways, Jesus delayed his return to Bethany by some four days, and now was standing with Martha at the tomb. Mary was still at home. So that's the story in a, in a nutshell. It is easy to say that you believe in words until it comes time to apply them to your own life. It's amazing how we try and think and say, well, that's actually applicable to so-and-so, but never for us. And these words that were spoken by Jesus are not merely meant to comfort in a time of sorrow, but they're also meant to strengthen and encourage us while we are still alive. And it is a promise to those who believe in him, a promise that cannot and will not be broken. Remember that God is not a man that he should lie or twist his words like we do. He will not weasel his way out of a promise either, something that we are very good at doing, especially when it comes time to deliver on that promise. After speaking these words, Jesus waits for confirmation from Martha, the words that he said to her, and I'll read it again. He said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Martha confirms her conviction. The question is, can you confirm the same connect, uh, conviction? Do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? That you will live, even though you die? Whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Powerful words and a good, strong question for us to answer. My dear friends, we need to understand that the words of Jesus are true and reliable, and we begin. We need to begin putting them into practice every day, not just when it suits us. James reminds us in James chapter 1, verse 22, where he writes, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. So may we become doers and not mere listeners. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.